this is the electrical uh, battery storage box that's just inside the door to the back room. This is the way it looks like when it's all set up. This is the voltmeter that tells how much charge the batteries have. It should be at about 12 volts, which is where it is right now. If it drops down to 10, then the batteries are getting too low and you need to shut the lights off. If you let it run too long, there's a fuse in here that trips and it's a real pain to take it apart and, and uh, reset it. So, to disconnect the system for the winter, you're first going to want to unplug this plug here. This, this connects the whole system to this um, volt changer here. So you'll, you'll actually turn off the switch. You can see the lights went off. Unplug it. Oh, I just turn it back on. Move that to the floor. And inside, you have the batteries. <coughs> Okay, these are the storage batteries, <clears throat> and this one wire here is the one that we're going to undo to disconnect the system. Using the, the open end wrench, you just, and I have to, it's, it's really not tightened up very tight, so you can, once you get it loose, you just do it with your fingers. And just pull the wire off, tuck it out of the way. Now, one thing, if you're ever hooking it back up, I don't know whether we can pick this up on the camera or not, sometimes when you just touch that, there's a very slight little spark. It's something you might get when you're disconnecting it too. Don't worry about that, that's okay. Just means you got current going through the... And this, as long as you're not holding on to... The, uh, the other side of the battery, you don't have to worry about getting a shock. I'm just hooking this back up again. Move it up just slightly. And the system's ready to close back up. Put the lid back on. Voltmeter. Now, if, if everything's working, when I turn on that switch, the it should come on red. And plug, it, plug it back in, the lights come on. That's it.